Welcome to the News at 6. School bus drivers in Boise say they're seeing an alarming trend putting students in danger. They reported about 470 stop arm violations so far this school year alone. That's almost as many as they saw all of last school year. Stop arm violations are when a driver illegally passes a bus that stopped with its red lights flashing. News Channel 7's Jude Binkley spoke with a local bus company about this increase. Jude joins us live now at Kelsch Elementary with what the bus company says may be causing this. Jude. Well, Morgan, Durham School Services is the bus company for Boise School District, transporting about 6,000 students to and from schools like this one. And Durham says they're seeing an alarming increase in the number of these violations, about 10 per day. Now, they're expecting the number of violations from this year to well exceed their last year's record. Take a look. We have cameras on all our buses, and uh, we really want to bring some of these uh, egregious uh, issues. We want them to stop because sooner or later somebody's going to get hurt. And uh, it's a tragedy none of us can afford to have. Gary Hendrickson is the safety and training manager for Durham School Services. He says they've been seeing more and more drivers blow past stop school buses. Our bus drivers have kind of taken it personal because these are their kids and they know them day in and day out. Some drivers have seen them come up from kindergarten to high school. And so we take it very personally. And when we start seeing our children being guided across the road by a driver and a car runs the stop arm, that's an issue. All Durham buses have stop arm video cameras to catch reckless drivers. They're able to send footage to police who follow up on reports. So a lot of these violations involve people that are distracted. Uh, in some videos, you can actually see them looking down, like if they're looking at a phone or looking at something else in the car. Uh, we just ask people to please pay attention around school buses. They're unpredictable. They make frequent stops. Boise Police Motor Sergeant Matthew Convalinka also says they've noticed many of the license plates on the cars passing school buses are from out of state. That a lot of them, these plates on vehicles that are passing the school buses are from out of state. And we're trying to educate more, especially out of state drivers, that they can't pass the school bus when it's stopped with the arm extended, even though that is a law in some variation in all 50 states. In Idaho, if there are three or less lanes, traffic in both directions must stop for a school bus. If there are four or more lanes with a divider, only traffic following the bus must stop. Hendrickson says there's a 60% success rate for ticketing drivers who make a school bus stop arm violation. Just the convictions that maybe we've received are worth it to me because last year, 60%. I know they're inconvenienced. I know people are busy, you know, but when you're out on the street dealing with our nation's, you know, the future of our country, you know, we can't take that for granted. And now, under Idaho code, this violation is a misdemeanor, punishable by up to $200, $400, or $600, depending on the number of violations. Now, this month is also Love the Bus Month, and that's an initiative by the American School Bus Council to show appreciation and highlight the positive impact the school buses have on safely getting kids to school. Now, in order for buses to safely get kids to school, they need everyone on the roads to be alert and stop when the law requires. Doug? Such, so much the key there, Jude, just paying attention while on the roads. Thanks, Jude.